Hey guys, how you going? I'm the Jez and welcome back to another face cam commentary. Uh, this is the kind of video where I entertain you with my face and a bit of commentary. So I hope you enjoy. And of course you will, what am I saying? Moving straight on to the gameplay. Uh, this is some Spy on Lakeside as you can see right here. And I know what you're thinking straight away. Yes, I am using the Enforcer. Sorry, but not actually sorry at all because I don't really play Spy. Although this is some great Spy footage, don't you worry about that. I don't really play Spy, so I don't care. I'm going to use the Enforcer. And it definitely is a straight upgrade to the Revolver. Let's we'll talk about that soon. Don't even worry about it. And by the way, why is it always snipers that are AFK? You never see like an AFK demo just like on the point being useful. It's always the most useless... The most useless class? Sniper? It's always them. It just adds to like the stigma that they're just so useless. They go like AFK and just don't do anything and whatever. Anyway, look at the power of the Enforcer right here. Three shots are destroyed that pyro right there. And now I'm assuming I'm going to burn to death. Oh my god, but I just managed to uh, dive into the pool there. The pool of life. And back to full health. Don't even worry about it. That is what I'm talking about right there. Come on, give me that stair step. I can't believe that I got that. That was so lucky. Uh, finally, all those hours of me on TR Walkway, just mindlessly stair stabbing those bots over and over, have paid off for me. Mr. Serious Cat right here, trying to put stickies on the point. Mm, not today. Not today, Serious Cat. No stickies on the point here. Now this soldier, the same soldier, keeps coming back to this spot, charging up his cow mangler shot and just spamming it onto the point. There's no one even on the point and he's just spamming his shots on there. Damn it, soldier. Come on. Anyway, so that's the end of the first round. I know it's pretty cruisy, pretty breezy, but this next round is a bit more action-packed because... They kept the point down to zero, they run it to zero, and we have a minute 40 overtime to somehow make up. So, yeah, I'm not going to ruin it for you. Look at that damage as well. 260 damage in four shots from the Enforcer. That is a lot of damage. Loving it. Loving that damage. But I have been thinking, actually, what would I do to the Enforcer to balance it? And what would I change about it? And I was thinking that the shots at a medium range, medium distance shots, if they reduce the accuracy... You know, in other words, increase the, like maybe the bullet spread so that it wasn't as accurate over a medium range. I think that would still make it like very viable, but also balanced as well. It would make it definitely more balanced because there's a couple of times you're going to see in this gameplay where even over a medium distance, I just destroy people with the Enforcer. It's just too good. A weapon this powerful just shouldn't be this accurate as well. So I think if you reduce that accuracy over a medium distance, then it definitely would be much more balanced. But what do you think? Tell me in the comments as well. Like, what do you think? How, how would you balance the Enforcer? God, I'm probably going to regret that, but please tell me. Also, that soldier right there, come on. Like, I'm shooting you in your face. At least acknowledge that I'm killing you. Like, that doesn't feel good. Completely ignored, even as I kill him. Cap in the point with this pyro right here. And then coming back around, get a lucky stab onto that scout who backpedaled into me, so that was good. And then I see this medic right here. Now, I'm sure you probably already know this, but if you ever see a medic in a... I know it's a public game, and it doesn't really matter, but if you ever see a medic, 9 times out of 10, prioritize him. See, I left the soldier right there, let him walk past me, and then I instantly went for the medic, because you want him switching off medic. Medic is such a powerful class. If you get a whole bunch of medics on a team, especially in a public server, the team's probably going to win. Seriously, test me out on that. So yeah, notice I always go for the medic over pretty much over anything else, 9 times out of 10. Now the soldier sees me right there, and the reason I managed to survive was because as I cloaked, instead of walking away from him, which is where he immediately checked, notice I jumped back towards him, and then he just instantly lost track of where I was. So that's a good little tip if you play Spy. I mean, I'm sure you've probably got better tips to give, but there's my little tip when you're trying to throw somebody off. By the way, what was that medic doing just sitting on that sniper? Like, let's be serious, that sniper was not getting any kills ever. There's no doubt about that. And the medic was like, dude, don't even worry about it, I got you. I'll keep you alive forever. Come on. Now this pyro should definitely kill me right here, look at this. Definitely should get me. But I somehow managed with the clutch comeback to uh, take him out with the gun. But of course it is the enforcer, so it's really not that impressive. 
that was kind of his bad anyway because he kept pressing M2 and he kind of pushed, air blasted me a little bit out of that crazy zone, you know, the small zone that Pyros can operate in to do a whole bunch of burst damage. He kind of kept me outside of that, so I was pretty much safe. But he definitely should, should have killed me right there. And I noticed these two medics, and of course I'm going to go for this double medic pick. My god. Thank god for that mini distracting them. Now look at this medium range shooting. Just destroy that pyro in three shots. I mean, I guess that was probably a little bit closer than medium range, but... But still, like, it, it shouldn't be that accurate, I don't think. You know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. The same sniper, Razorback, zero game sense. Come on, snipers. And then the NG for some reason turns his back to me. Anyway, game sets. Come on, people. That is the end of the second round. Now, I'm going to leave you with a clip right here that I managed to get. And this is what happens when you leave a teleporter unattended on a Valve server. It's pretty ridiculous. This is the teleporter right here. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all your support recently. Recently got a whole bunch of subscribers as well. Super excited. Super keen to keep making vids for you guys. Um, yeah, leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. It's super motivating. I'm the Jez. God bless you guys, and I hope to see you next time.